I've been researching prehistoric Southwest pottery for many decades, and the one pottery type I always come back to that you just fall in love with are the Mimbres pottery vessels, the bowls, because they illustrate life ways and mythologies and the stories and the legends of their time. And I've had the privilege, the extreme privilege, of being in the back rooms of the museums where all this stuff is stashed away. And I've examined not dozens of these vessels, but hundreds of them. And I've recorded the images. And we have everything from Coco Paley to Spider Grandmother and the Warrior Twins. And we have hundreds of them to show you, and I can't wait to get started. It's going to be a lot of fun. So hold on to your seat. Today we're going to talk about birds on Mimbre's art. Here we have four turkeys. Turkey is a very important uh, image on Mimbre's art. They probably have to do with healing. I often see them attacking centipedes, which is a underworld figure. So anyway, turkeys. We have here four beautiful turkeys. Always four. And Mimbre's uh, depictions. Four, four is the magic number. Uh, there's four directions. There's also up, down, and center in the uh, total numerology system. But four, if it's of this plane, of this world, you usually see four. And here we have four beautiful turkeys, possibly within the egg. The white negative space could represent the egg. The center image is interesting too, this little unit. This could be a blanket. More turkeys. This one, this is fun. This is a turkey. Now notice the tail. Turkey tails are very important. You see. A lot of times you just see the turkey tail combined with other things. And that's all you really need to represent the idea of turkey. There's a turkey eating a little caterpillar. And here's a turkey and combined with a little skunk image. There's a turkey on, a, uh, uh, on the rim of an oya. This is a large pottery sherd. We often find turkeys in the corn on different uh, forms of pottery. This is actually a white mountain redwood. This is probably a tularosa black on white, dating between 1200 and 1300 AD. Nice turkey. You see turkey tracks on, on uh, the white mountain redwoods also. It really looks more like a duck, doesn't it? Both of these. But what's interesting about this, see this zigzaggy line? You very often see this on images, it, it might represent sound or song or singing or talking or arguing. I've seen it in a lot of images coming out of the mouth, and a lot of times I've got one slide of two hunters arguing over a deer that one of them killed, and you see this zigzag line back and forth between their mouths. This might represent voice or song. I actually think these are ducks, not turkeys. This, this looks like a turkey tail. And here we go. This is what I want to show you. Turkey tail, turkey tail, turkey tail. I'm not sure what the rest of this is going on, but it, the tail all by itself is all you need to really represent turkey. It's a little bit, this is probably, these are not turkey tails, but I, I included this to just kind of show this commonality. That's what the advantages of having so many vessels to look at. You can get a little bit of the drift of what's going on. You look at one, you're speculating. And we, we, of course, we're speculating in general, but if you have several to look at, then it really helps. Here we go, turkey tail all over the place. Turkey tail here, with this strange insect, rabbit-eared creature. But see, this is what I'm talking about. Rabbit ears, insect body, turkey tail. This means something. This could be Rebus principle, this could be where a sound is represented, a sound is represented, a sound is represented. Uh, usually with Rebus principle though, you have to have them in line in order to know which sounds to combine in which way. So I don't think it is Rebus principle, but it certainly is unit meaning. This means something individually, this image on the back means something individually, this creature in particular means something individually, and so does the turkey tail. Here is a fellow with a turkey tail hat. A fellow with a turkey tail on a string, on a staff. 
And here again, turkey tail combined with all these other elements. This means something by itself. This means something by itself. This the, and put together, it has an overall meaning. Here we have quail. This is fun. See this, the border on this bowl? That's a fence. Several images of fences. They made them out of uh, different things. They have rabbit drive fences. Look at the fence, and there's the quail. A lot of quail. Here's This is a fun one. There's the egg, the hatching, and the, maybe the parents. Notice the checkerboard pattern again. Two quail and a pair of hands. Very interesting. Hands are in white. Probably means it's not of this world. Yeah, here's the mother quail with her little babies. A quail sitting on a staff and a caterpillar image on her back. And here we have this little voice sound thing again. Here we have swallows. There's this little voice thing again. Pair of swallows. This uh, terrace unit has a, uh, a unit meaning also. We see it quite a bit. Uh, I, a lot of folks say clouds, mountains. A lot of times it it could be uh, could be pueblo. It could be yeah. Cloud mountain. This one has parallel lines, so it's probably mountain. Here we have couple of swallows. Uh, these crosses are almost always stars, the night sky representations. This flame looking thing, this unit we see quite a bit too, and it, 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 you know, in, in isolation like this, it was combined with other elements, has a unit meaning. Okay, performing parrots, these are really fun. This is like the circus came to town. Uh, these traders would come up from the south and they would, uh, macaw parrots or, or Mexican green parrots were highly prized for their feathers. And these traders would come up from the south and they'd have these parrots and they would perform with them. They'd do little shows, little circus shows. See, the, it's a female performer, see her sash. Very, very fancy, elaborate sash. This is costuming, this is actual costume. That's interesting, she has a little parrot makeup on. One in a cage, one performing in a hoop. A little tiny mantle of authority. There's some more. There's another performing couple. Male, female. We've got a parrot in a basket. Another parrot in a hoop. Parrots performing. Little tiny staffs of authority. Little bitty ones. The autofocus on this old projector is not working very well. That's a wonderful image. More performers. Performing parrots. Performing parrots. White face again. Notice they all have white faces. It could be kind of like, you know, magic. And here are some performing dogs. I just thought I'd toss this slide in. This little creature's up on a little bench performing. A couple of fellows with a dog and a hoop. Not sure what that guy is. I'm not sure what that, that little object is. Another performing dog. Parrots on a basket. A couple of parrots on the back of a man. Human, obviously. See, all, these, all these little things mean something. The, the, the circle on his face means something. These images mean something. But you know, we only have little bits that we can stick. That we can say, yeah, that that's usually this. Here's this zigzag line again. Oh, here we go. Here's the one I wanted to show you. I've been talking about this. How the zigzag lines usually means voice, song, or something. Now, remember, parrots can talk. So here's these little zigzag lines. Voice, song, 
Here's the good one. Here. The Mimbres images we saw today were painted between 1000 AD and 1280 AD. And if you want, there's a lot more of them, and we're going to have other, uh, other videos you can see. But if you want to get a copy of the book, Mimbres Mythology, there's a lot of these images we're going to be showing. Uh, just email me, and the address is in the uh, description in this video. It's just Kunkel. Uh, at hotmail.com, that's C-U-N-K-L-E. And just email me and I'll, I'll sign a copy and make sure you get it. Thanks for watching today. Give me a like, uh, if you like.